In this movie, we're going to talk a little bit about Enroute's 2D distortion tools. So here I have some text on screen that's been converted to lines and arcs. And I'm going to select this text, and in order to distort it, I would go to the Resize menu or Scale menu and hold down, or I can go to the Transform menu and go down to the Distortion tool. The first kind of distortion we'll discuss is the Patch Distort. And Patch Distort will give me a few handles that I can select. There's four on the left side, four in the left center, four in the right center, and four in the right side. And uh, I can select these points, and by holding the Shift key down and dragging them, I can achieve a particular kind of a distortion where it might be distorted all the way on top. Or let's come here and, and do this one again. Uh, and I can move the these handles downward and these upward to create a particular type of effect. Hitting the enter key will take will allow the uh, effect to take take a, a hold there. And uh, now we can come here down to this distortion tool. Uh, we have another kind of distortion here. We have a tapered distortion where I can put a little bit of a bevel on something or uh, even do a little bit of a inward type of a distortion. And finally here for some of the distortion tools we have uh, a distortion capability that would allow me to uh, put a noise to the line. So instead of a line being a straight line we can come here and add a little bit of a wavelength, uh, some jitter, and uh, I'll have a horizontal and vertical amplitude that will tell me how much I can move in, in either axis. And here I'll hit preview and we'll see we've got a fair bit of distortion there. We can, we can change some of these settings and get a, a slightly different result. Uh, the longer the wavelength, the more gradual the departure will be from the original contours. And we can increase our amplitude here maybe a little bit in the vertical. We'll keep it uh, pretty close to the same in the vertical here, hit preview. And we can see it will allow it to move a little bit further away from where it currently is if I, if I choose that. So if I hit apply now and uh, come back here and delete my original text, I can see it's created kind of a, an interesting distortion. And I might be able to put an outline on that uh, to give it a little bit different of, a, of, a, of an effect. So uh, here's your different types of 2D distortions. And the uh, interesting thing is, uh, in addition to working on 2D objects, because a 3D release is also based on a 2D object, uh, we can come in here and, and choose these same tools here. Let's just choose all four of these. And we can raise this up now. And, and when we hit Enter, it will not only change the outline of the, the relief to occur, but will change the actual relief surface itself and uh, allow you to achieve a, a distortion effect uh, actually right on the, the 3D relief. And we'll zoom in here so we can see this uh, a little bit better here. So here you can see it's done a, a nice distortion there and, uh, and allowed the, the surface of the relief to follow the distortion. So this has been a preview of Enroute's 2D distortion tools, all part of the new